Okay, you guys. So if you're a non-believer or if you're an atheist like me, you get dragged into a lot of religious conversations because people have a lot of questions about this stuff, right? And inevitably, in every religious conversation, they're going to hit the non-believer with this one, right? They're going to say, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? You're going to go to hell and you're going to burn in an inferno for eternity. And you're right. If I was wrong and I went to hell and I had to burn in an inferno for eternity, that would really suck for me. But the problem is I can't find any research at all that supports any of these religious claims. So I think it's highly unlikely that I'm going to end up in hell burning for an eternity. And for me, I have to live my truth. I have to live my smartest life, right? So it's impossible for me to actually sit back and just live that lie on the hopes that maybe one day I get into heaven or on the fears that if I might happen to be wrong, I might end up in hell. I can't let these old scriptures scare me or dictate how I'm going to operate. I have to let my modern mind, my modern brain, and the research that I do dictate how I feel about these important issues like religion, you guys. And uh, the late, great Christopher Hitchens, he was doing an interview one time, and he kind of went into something like this that I'm going to go through with you guys, where he kind of helped explain this and make some sense of it to the religious people. So for all of us non-believers, we don't believe in any of the gods that existed throughout history. So some 3,000-odd gods that we don't believe in, right? But for the believers, they believe in just the one God that they were born under. And they actually have the audacity to believe that they just happen to be born in the right time and place to be born under the correct God, right? Imagine that kind of audacity, you guys. But what they don't realize is they also do not believe in 2,999 gods. So we're actually very similar, right? Us non-believers don't believe in all 3,000 gods. The believers don't believe in 2,999 gods. They just happen to believe in one. So are we really that different, you guys? The only difference between us is not believing in one God. And the other part of it is in 2,999 religions, the believers are also going to hell. So when they try to scare us and say, aren't you worried about going to hell? Aren't you worried about burning in an inferno for eternity? Well, not really, but you should be worried too, because in 2,999 religions, you're going to hell. Only in the one religion you were born under and you believe are you supposedly getting into heaven. So your shots of getting into heaven are like one in 3,000 at best if you're a believer, right? So none of this makes any sense when you really put it to the smell test. And I think Christopher anal- Christopher's analogy is amazing. And it really goes to show you, I mean, who's more likely to be right, you guys? The people that don't believe in all 3,000 gods or the people that don't believe in 2,999 gods and believe that one of them just happens to be right and it just happens to be the one they were born under. I mean, it's completely unlikely 